the weather is extremely cold. It's bitterly cold. My hands have turned to ice. You touch them and they're frozen. I can't feel anything in my fingers. So bitterly cold. That plus my condition just makes it awful. And I want to know what happened to the past? What happened to it? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. What's happened to the past? Where's it gone? As I was walking up the hill today to get home, oh, I don't know, half an hour ago, I was thinking, now I could go home, have a cup of tea, get in my pyjamas and watch a movie. But as you grow up, those sort of things can't be, they're not so possible. You know. Why is it then I can't do that? I can do part of it. But why can't I do all of it? Why can't I get in my bed now, all cuddly and warm, with my pyjamas and watch a movie? Why can't I do it? I don't know. I could do it, and I could literally go up there, put my pyjamas on, get in there and watch a good movie. But it wouldn't be good, and it wouldn't be fun. And it wouldn't be me thinking, well, I'm cosy and warm in my bed, and outside there it's colder than the Antarctic, you know. I wouldn't feel that. I wouldn't feel like it's, you know, I'm warm, they're cold. I wouldn't feel that. I don't know why. Because as a kid, you always have this feeling, well, I'm all snug in my pyjamas and I'm watching a movie. Oh, it's lovely. But when you're older, these things change. And where has the past gone then? Where has it gone? What happened to the days when I was a kid? And you'd go out on a Saturday, Saturday afternoon, and go on a nice family outing to somewhere of absolute total boredom, but you're with a family, so it was nice. What happened to those days? Before the days of me blogging? Before the days of cancer? I think cancer does put a big strain on my life. Constipation. Um, frost. These things get on my nerves. Exercise. Can't do any of it. And it's... I mean, tiredness is, is a heavy one, you know. Um, and these things stop me, but I wouldn't go back. I wouldn't say, right, if you could delete that from your past, would you do it? Absolutely not. People think that's absolutely, totally crazy. No. I would not be sat here doing a video about the weather if I didn't have cancer. Because that confidence would never be there. It's like that episode of Family Guy, when they go on the multiverse, um, yeah, the multiverse theorem thing. And they say, well, this is what the world looks like um, if um, Bush never won the election or something. Um, and this would be, so if, if, if you took cancer out of my life, then there'd be no blogs and I would be literally shy as anything, like a little puppy, doing nothing. And I'd be absolutely useless in life and I'd absolutely probably kill myself much quicker um, because there'd be no point in my life. I'd be a, this shy little creature uh, who got bullied tremendously. And, you know, so, I mean, there was a moment before cancer, people were being nasty to me. And they were actually saying, oh, look at your work, it's crap. And then, as soon as I had cancer and started making videos, people were like, oh, Grant, you're awesome. Now, I never really understood which one it was. Was it the fact that I had cancer, which is why they liked me? Or was it because I did videos and that I sort of came out of my shell a bit more, which is why they liked me? I don't know. They don't like me now, but, um, yeah. But what happened to the days when, you know, there weren't people on the streets talking shit? People who, uh, like, like, there wasn't a thousand fat boys out there talking absolute bollocks. There weren't people who stabbed people. People didn't get stabbed every day. We didn't fear going out in the streets because someone might stab you. You know? There wasn't all this, oh, you know, all this drug abuse and all that. There wasn't that. Well, there was, but it wasn't so big to me. Perhaps I never noticed. Smokers. No, I think I've always had a problem with smokers. I think I noticed that from the start. Um, when I was a kid, um, I used to run to... We'd go on a holiday, and we'd get to a sort of, like, nice little spot to have our picnic. And there'd be a dog, and he'd be swimming in the river. And I'd say, get your fucking dog out of that river! We want to swim in that! You know? And it pissed me off. It did really piss me off. Polluting the water, as I used to say. Polluting the water, he was. 
I don't know whether blocking was a good idea. It could have been. It might have been a nice idea. I don't know whether it was. It does take a lot, a lot of my life up, you know. And actually, if you were to ask me honestly, without my blogs, I would kill myself. Because there'd be nothing else in the world. Nothing else in the world to keep me alive for. So I would. Someone deleted my account, I'd kill myself within a second.